Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel medical lectures and mnemonics i hope that all of you will be fine and start up well health in this video i am going to talk about on proton pump inhibitors proton pump inhibitors are very important drug and these are prescribed almost with every type of medicine so these are the drug that inhibit hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme and the parietal cell of the stomach these prevent the hydrogen and secretion into stomach lumen therefore they will uh, not be available for chloride to bind so the ACL, the ACL formation will be reduced now what are the drugs that are included in the proton pump inhibitors uh, you can memorize this drug easily by the mnemonic which is the dollar price so the D stand for the dex lensoprazole the O for the omeprazole L for the lensoprazole, E for the esomeprazole, R for the rabiprazole, and P for the pentaprazole. And these drug names are often even with suffix as well. So uh, this is the mnemonic. You can easily memorize this drug through this mnemonic. Now, what are the adverse effects? What are the pharmacokinetics of these drugs? These drugs are actually pro drugs, and the, they are activated within the duodenum. So, these drugs have acid resistant coat uh, in order to protect them from stomach acidic environment in the duodenum, where they absorb into the blood and taken up by the parietal cell. These drugs should be taken 30 or 60 minutes before meal for maximum effects. And the metabolites of these drugs are excreted through urine and feces. Now, what are the adverse effects of these drugs? These drugs can, uh, these drugs, especially the omeprazole and esomeprazole, can uh, can decrease effectiveness of clopidogrel, and they can also increase the risk of bone fractures. They can also cause vitamin B12 deficiency and diarrhea and cholesterol deficit infection is also one of the adverse effects of these drugs when they are used for a long time. So now what are the therapeutic uses of these drugs? These drugs are used for multiple, uh, uh, multiple diseases. The first is the GERD. The GERD is the uh, reflux of the stomach curtain into esophagus. These are used for GERD treatment. They are also used for erosive esophagitis. And these drugs are also used for duodenal ulcer. In a hypersecretory pathologic condition, Zollinger Ellison syndrome. And in sudden induced in stress ulcer. Uh, uh, and, so, and for stress ulcer, these drugs are also used. So this was all about on VPI. For more videos, subscribe us on YouTube.